So let's go ahead and look at this. Let's look at an example. So let's say we want to convert 60 degrees to radians. All right, well, that's not too bad. I mean, especially when you're looking at this. Um, we take our degrees and we multiply by pi radians over 180 degrees. Okay, so this is going to end up being 60 pi over 180 radians because the degrees do cancel out. And then we have to simplify this. So 60 and 180, all the zeros cancel out, and 60 is pi over 3. Okay. Now, one thing about um, radian measures and circular trigonometry is, if possible, we always want to have a radian measure in terms of pi. So we're actually not going to put that in a calculator. We're just going to keep it pi over 3 radians. So in general, we want our radian measures to be in terms of pi. Of course, that's not always going to happen. I mean, there are times where you just you can't put it in terms of pi just the way it's, um, it's set up. And then when we do word problems, of course, then we tend to just use a decimal equivalent. It just makes more sense. So, you know, there are situations where you don't keep it in terms of pi. But again, if possible, I mean, you know, in general, if possible, we want that to happen. All right, let's try another one here. Let's say we want to convert 5 pi over 3 radians to degrees. Okay, well, the conversion from radians to degrees is 180 degrees over pi radians. So we're going to have 5 pi over 3 times 180 um, degrees over pi radians. Okay, so this is going to be 5 pi times 180 over 3 pi. And this will end up being degrees. And then the nice thing that happens here is the pi's cancel out. Okay, and then let's see here. 3 and one rate and 180 turns into uh, 60. And so 60 times 5 is 300 degrees. And that would be our answer. So 5 pi over 3 radians is 300 degrees. And pi over 3 radians is 60 degrees. All right, now... This example here demonstrates how I try to remember the conversions. Notice that when we are converting from radians to degrees, we have a pi in there. So in my brain, I always think, well, when I'm in degrees, I don't want pi. So to get rid of the pi, you've got to divide by pi. So that's how I remember it's 180 over pi to go from radians to degrees. And then to go from degrees to radians, we always want to bring the pi back in. And so I would remember that the pi needs to be in the numerator in that case. So that's just kind of a way that I remember which conversion goes with which, because it can get confusing to think, wait, is it pi over 180 or 180 over pi? Which one do I use? So that's how I remember. Okay, let's do one more. And let's say I, you're asked to convert three. Okay, so we're sitting there going, three, well, three what? Is it three degrees? Is it three radians? I don't understand. Okay, now one thing about radians, this is actually going to be three radians. Um, radians are actually a unitless value. They don't really have a unit. 
And so um, the way radians work, because if you think about it, when we took the arc length, which is, for example, in inches, and the radius, which would be in inches, the inches canceled out. So there are actually are no units. Now we put radians just to kind of make sure we're clear about it. But if you see an angle measure and it has no units, it is radians. So this is in radians. And let's put in parentheses, radians are unitless. So if that's the case, and we now know that we take three times 180 over pi. Okay, so that's gonna be um, 540 over pi. Okay. Now this is a case where, you know, of course, because we didn't have the pi in there, you know, you gotta get a decimal equivalent of that. So let's go ahead and get 540 divided by pi, and we approximately have a value of 171.89 degrees. And so that would be our answer. So the deal with pi, it depends on the situation. You know, most of the time we're gonna be working with pi when it comes to radians, but again, there will be times when we don't have that pi in there, and that's okay, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and then, so a lot of times in that case, we have to get a decimal equivalent.